Drones equipped with video cameras have been around since the 1980s. Drones can be useful in dangerous areas, but they are also regularly used to capture beautiful images from the sky. However, there have been times when a drone captured something scary on camera. Today, I am going to show you 9 of them. Number 9. Abandoned Chernobyl More than 30 years have passed since the 1986 nuclear disaster at Chernobyl became the most devastating catastrophe of its kind in history. Hundreds of billions of dollars have been spent on cleanup and literally untold thousands of people have been left dead, injured or sick, and the area itself still remains a veritable ghost town. Chernobyl today is indeed a place long since abandoned, yet it is still full of relics of its tragic past. Pripyat, the town forged next to the nuclear plant, was meant to be a model nuclear city, a testament to Soviet strength and ingenuity. Now it is known as the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, forcibly devoid of humans and since retaken by animals and nature itself. A documentarian, Danny Cook, said upon taking footage of the area just a few years ago, there was something serene yet highly disturbing about this place. Time has stood still and there are memories of past happenings floating around us. Welcome to Chernobyl today, an empty shell haunted by its disastrous past. Number 8. Presidential Head Sculptures A Virginia drone operator captured these 43 giant presidential heads in a field in Croker. They were originally built for the President's Park in Williamsburg, Virginia, but the park closed in 2010. This is the statue's home now. The park was open from 2004 to 2010 according to All the President's Heads, a documentary about the giant creations. When the park closed, the heads sat abandoned for several years until new developers bought the property. They were putting in a rental car business and asked Howard Hankins, who owned a local waste management company, to haul the statues away and destroy them. Instead of going into the crusher, I brought them up to the farm and there they are in their new home, Hankins said in the documentary, which you can watch at the bottom of the file. It took 10 men more than three weeks to lug the statues to Hankins Farm in Croker, Virginia, about 10 miles from their original home in President's Park. The ordeal cost Hankins about $50,000 and several of the presidents were injured in the process. Although the farm is private property and not open to the public, Hankins hopes to once again share the presidents with the people. He has partnered with photographer and historian John Plaschel to provide tours of the busts. There is also a crowdfunding campaign to restore and transport the massive sculptures somewhere for public viewing. Number 7. Incredibly Fast Unexplained Object The U.S. Air Force veteran based in Aden, North Carolina, filmed the fast UFO using a camera mounted on a drone. The 59-year-old sent the footage to the U.S.-based Mutual UFO Network MUFON, for investigation. In a report to MUFON, the world's biggest organization dedicated to UFO and alien research, he said the object sped around 1.2 miles in just one-third of a second, meaning, if correct, it traveled at about 13,000 miles per hour, or 17 times the speed of sound. Open Minds TV, which reports on interesting MUFON cases, said the mysterious object was filmed flying at just about 50 feet off the ground at an estimated speed of 10 to 13,000 miles per hour. MUFON said the witness had 20 years of USAF service and filmed the UFO at 2.12 p.m. on October 26th. The video shows the UFO passing in a blur under the witness's drone. He speculated that it could have been another drone flying beneath the witness or a reflection of something flying overhead, but he couldn't rule out a flare or technical glitch. Number 6. A Clown in the Field this photo was taken in 2016, a strange year in which there were most scary clown sightings reported throughout the world. This particular photo was captured by a drone flying over a field in Huntsville, Alabama. Fake or not, it's definitely something that gives you a scare. Number 5. Surfer and Great White Shark The same species of shark that inspired Steven Spielberg's Jaws was seen in Del Mar, California earlier this year on the 30th of September. Immortalized by Scott Fairchild's drone footage, the great white shark was swimming just below a child's surfboard as he was laying on it. Without moving, the child noticed the animal and just watched it swimming next to him. Mr. Fairchild shared the thrilling footage on Instagram. Brave kid, he wrote in the caption. This rather thick great white shark cruised right through the surfers and this kid saw it, he added. 
Has my mom seen this? This was my nightmare when my son was surfing, wondered Bella78 on Instagram. The videographer reassured her, saying that the adult shown in the video was the child's father. Something so pure about this, commented Honey Bean G. Contrary to popular beliefs, great white sharks only kill around five people per year on average, despite their deadly Hollywood alter egos saying otherwise. Number 4. Bigfoot Captured by a Camera The most famous footage ever recorded of Bigfoot has been given a monster makeover, and it's now more convincing than ever. Digital wizards have transformed the grainy clip captured in 1967, and some believe it's the best evidence yet. The mythical beast is the real deal. It may only last for 59 seconds, but the Patterson-Gimlin film is one of the most heavily scrutinized clips ever produced. Now it's been transformed using 4K technology to reveal even more details of the supposed mountain giant more than 50 years after it was first filmed. Cowboys Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin read headlines of unidentifiable footprints and were navigating Bluff Creek in California State on horseback with a 16mm Kodak camera. Their search paid off when the pair say they discovered a gorilla-human hybrid walking along the creek bed just 30 meters in front of them. However, the relatively poor quality of the footage left many asking whether or not it was genuine or just an elaborate hoax. Almost five decades have passed since the footage was captured, and it's faced heavy scrutiny from skeptical scientists, forensic analysts, and special effects experts. But despite the great attention, the film is yet to be conclusively proved real or fake. Now experts from Bigfoot AI have given the footage a high-definition makeover, wowing Sasquatch fans around the world. The polished footage emerged just weeks after the FBI documents confirmed it was once called in to probe whether or not the legendary creature was actually real. Number 3. A Drone Sacrificed in a Volcano Because we humans tend to roast if we're anywhere near Mustafar temperatures, jumping into a volcano is a no-go. But for drones, well, it's pretty much the same story. Photographer Gardar Olofs, for example, found that out firsthand recently when he flew his DJI Phantom into the erupting Geldinga Deer volcano in Iceland. Now, so too, has guy with a drone, Bjorn Steinbeck, who full-on sacrificed his drone in a cauldron of lava. Dig picked up on Olaf's harrowing video, which he posted to Instagram with the caption, Can you feel the heat? Melted my drone for this shot. The video, which you need to listen to with the sound on, is only about 15 seconds long, but it delivers an exceptional point of view of a spewing fissure. Olaf's was flying the drone into the crater of Geldinga Deer, which, along with the adjacent Fajred Alfsjall volcano, recently erupted for the first time in 6,000 years. Of course it would now. And while it's hard to say what the temperature was at the drone's altitude, the crater was likely 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. I was really surprised that the drone was still in the air, since it was basically inside the crater, Olaf said in the interview. Despite its incredible proximity, however, Olaf was still able to fly the drone back to safety. Steinbeck, on the other hand, not so much. Although it seems that was by design. The drone photographer says his heroic drone video concluded his six-week stint recording the volcano, and that he cried the morning he recorded it because leaving the volcano was so emotional. Number 2. A Scary Ghost Girl with Black Eyes Drone operators flying an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, over countryside in Staffordshire have captured a mysterious figure in white standing in broad daylight that they think might be the infamous ghost of the black-eyed child. YouTube user Furious Otter uploaded a video on the 18th of April showing video footage captured from a quadrocopter drone. The 59-second long video shows the Canuck Chase Forest landscape on a bright sunny day, and a figure in white is seen from the aerial view. The operators write in text displayed in the video that they noticed something strange on the live streaming video feed coming from the helicopter drone and decided to fly lower to investigate. Flying at a very low height below the tops of the trees on the edge of the forest, the drone then captures a mysterious figure in white with long dark hair standing just within the shadows of the trees, so it's not possible to make out her face. But the folds of her dress can clearly be seen, and the figure appears to use her left hand to sweep hair out of her face. The user wrote in the video description on YouTube, If this is the famous black-eyed girl spotted in Canic Chase, 
After uploading this footage, we were contacted by a number of paranormal investigators pointing out that this could be the black-eyed girl. Crazy. Number 1. Tigers Running After a Drone The story behind footage showing a playful game of cat and mouse between a drone and a group of tigers is much darker than originally thought. Video posted on social media showed a group of Siberian tigers chasing a drone and knocking it out of the sky. Experts said the tigers were encouraged to chase a drone during the winter months in order to keep active. It's since emerged that the facility pictured in the video is China's Harbin Siberian Tiger Park, a tiger farm which reportedly sells tiger bones and pelts. Twitter users began to question the video after it was shared by UK's ITV, asking if it was in fact the infamous park. Ben Pearson from World Animal Protection said the drone footage exposed the plight of tiger farms in China. These facilities breed tigers for tourist entertainment while they're alive, and their parts are reportedly used for luxury and medicinal products, he said. Among the welfare issues with the footage is that tigers are solitary animals, so it's unnatural for so many to live together. Mr. Pearson said the Harbin Siberian Tiger Park, one of the largest parks of its kind in China, was transformed from a farm into a tourist park in the 90s after a national ban on the domestic trade of tiger bones was instated.